Professor Marsha Langton, a key architect of Labour's voice, says newspapers have lied about her. We've lied about her. No, she says. She hadn't on the weekend said that Australians against the voice were just racist and stupid. Well, apart from all the ones she thinks actually are racist and stupid. Have you got it? Because Langton is actually threatening now to call in the lawyers after the Australian newspapers uh, paper on Tuesday reported comments she made at a meeting on the weekend under this devastating headline, since rewritten, no voters are branded racist, stupid, but prominent voice campaigner Marsha Langton. Oh, no, she says, I didn't say that, but can we believe her denials? In fact, you know, I always thought it was absolutely insane to appoint Professor Langton to co-author the report that designed the voice and then put her on the Albanese government's referendum working group to sell this Aboriginal and Advisory Parliament that's meant to bring us reconciliation. Now, reconciliation from Langton, that's a laugh. From this race mongers are notorious for calling so many people already racist. And not just abusing conservatives like uh, former Prime Minister John Howard or historian Geoffrey Partington or, and me. She's also attacked uh, leftists, environmentalist Tim Flannery, racist. Uh, feminist Jermaine Greer, racist. Professor and Green, Boris Frankel, racist. I mean, who isn't racist in Langton's angry world? You know, <laughs> in fact, three years ago, Langton even abused social workers and police. Families have been broken apart by social workers who are, by and large, white and racist. We need a a radical culture change uh, to stop the, uh, the police from criminalising more and more people uh, simply because the police are racist, um, because they get brownie points for rounding people up. I think you're sensing a pattern here. <laughs> In fact, Latham, Latham, Langton has played this racism card so recklessly and so baselessly that she actually had to apologise for this totally false claim made in the ABC that I had racially abused some friend of hers. Nothing that he said about her was political. It was simply racial abuse. Gosh, the ABC hated having to apologise to me. Later, Professor Langton publicly said that she does not believe Mr Bolt is a racist. She apologised to him for her comments and as a result, the ABC also apologises for broadcasting her remarks. But this time she says she is innocent. She never called no voters racist and stupid. No, 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 she told the ABC this morning. I don't believe that most Australians are racist. What I was saying was that the claims made by the No campaign are based in racism and stupidity. And to be fair, what Langton was actually recorded saying on the weekend was that it was the arguments of no campaigners that were racist and stupid, not the voters themselves. Every time the no case raises one of their arguments, if you start pulling it apart, you get down to base racism. I'm sorry to say it, but that's where it lands. Or just sheer stupidity. OK, so yes, the Australian's headline was not strictly accurate. But here's the problem. It's Marsha Langton. And she just can't help herself. In fact, today she embarrassed herself all over again because even when she was defending herself on ABC radio trying to hose down this disaster for the S campaign, she still managed to suggest that actually many no voters were indeed racist or stupid. And it wasn't just the no campaigners who were racist, she said. No voters she'd spoken to were racist. A lot of people don't understand how what they're saying is racist. Other no voters were indeed too stupid to know that they'd been conned by racist arguments and she'd had to educate them. So I kind of explained how, you know, the inherent racism in the claim works. I thought it uh, important to explain to her how she was being duped. Oh, those stupid no voters. I mean, racist and stupid then, OK? Just like the 
the headline had said. And of course, that's really what Langton does mean, because, you know, no voters must be racist or stupid because Langton says they're swallowing the no campaign's racist and stupid arguments, right? In fact, a couple of months ago, Langton was much more explicit about what she really thinks of no voters. And this was at a University of Queensland gathering. The surge of racist nonsense uh, is confined to a minority of Australians. Ordinary Australians are thinking, yes, of course, I'm voting for the voice. Um, and that would be, you know, say 48, 49%. Then there's the hard no voters. And I'm hoping that they're about 20% and they're the ones who are spewing the racism. Appealing to their racist base with claims that the proposal will racially divide the nation. So as you can see, there are racists, racists, racists everywhere in Langton's angry gaze. All those voters, all those liberals, all those no campaigners, don't forget the social workers and the police, racists and stupid people. However much she now protests, we got her wrong.